Hello everybody and welcome back to the Traction Channel for another brand new F122 video. Now the lovely people at HTC have sent us a Vive Pro 2 headset to try out virtual reality on F122. Now you may have already seen on the channel that we did do a VR first impressions video using the preview build of the game and in that video I raced around Silverstone as Alex Albon in the wet. But as I'm recording this video it's actually F122 launch week so I thought I would use the opportunity to try out this new headset and show you some raw VR gameplay. Now I decided to jump in an F2 car around Montreal and make it rain just as a way of testing out the gameplay experience under some graphical strain and also I wanted to try out the F2 car for the first time. Of course it's also worth bearing in mind that this is the 2021 season of F2 cars, drivers and liveries. The 2022 season should come around at some point soon. Now just so we're fully clear, this video was filmed before any day one patches or anything using our review copy of the game, and I've got to say we did have some issues getting it to work properly, so instead of being able to use our beefy traction PC which actually has a 3090 graphics card, I ended up having to use the PC that I edit with, which is still powerful but not quite as powerful, so I will put the specs in the description below. Now I will talk about my thoughts of this experience after I show you the gameplay, but it's also worth knowing in advance that I was running on the VR medium graphics preset, so I'm going to shut up now and I'm going to show you the gameplay so hopefully you enjoy and I'll see you at the finish line.
work. That's a new fastest lap of the race. Victor has just set the fastest lap of the race.
So then, that was the raw VR gameplay on F122, and I just thought to end things off, I would give you some feedback on the experience. I'll start with the positives, and then we'll cover the negatives. So first of all, the visual fidelity itself. Now, the HTC Vive Pro 2 did a really good job. It's a great headset, very comfy to wear, very adjustable. It feels a little bit like a Rift S when it's on your head, but no, that's very, very solid indeed. And a big thank you once again to HTC for sending us that. But what I'm trying to say is the game itself complements the headset nicely, so you can really pick out your breaking points. There's lots of references you can use. And generally speaking, the rain, the effects of that are really good too. Bearing in mind, I was on medium as well, and I will get to why shortly. But generally speaking, visually, it was pretty impressive. However, I've got to say performance-wise, it was let down a little bit. And, you know, the version of the game I'm playing, I've got to reiterate, this is the review version. So it's not quite final, but it's very close to being final. And I had a lot of issues with hardware. First of all, just getting it to run smoothly on certain PCs was a major issue. As I said in the intro, I ended up resorting to my editing PC to finally get it all to run smoothly. Now, that's not necessarily the game's fault, but it should really just work out the box with multiple different devices, especially with PCs as powerful as our main recording PC. Now, there was also an issue when you were actually in the session where at the start of the race you would get a black screen as soon as the light went green, so you would basically have a second or two where you could see nothing, and then when it came back you were already underway. And the same thing happened at the end of the race as well, we had a little bit of a black screen, so hopefully those issues are ironed out by the time you guys are actually seeing this video. In terms of the frame rate, well that was the main reason why I had to run on the medium graphics setting, because basically in the wet, with plenty of cars on the go, using that PC, I could not maintain a solid frame rate with high or ultra high graphics settings. Now even on medium, I was experiencing quite a lot of frame drops, as you probably saw during the video, it wasn't fully smooth at 60 or anything like that throughout the video. Um, there were certain areas when it got a little busy that things began to chug a little bit, so I was having to run on medium just to be able to kind of manage a nice race. So that was a bit of a negative, but again, hopefully these things are kind of ironed out a little bit when the game actually launches, and I'm sure that they will be working very hard to make it as good as possible. And with the beefier PC, I reckon you could get away with running high graphics. To be honest, even in time trial mode with no other cars on the track, I'd have probably gotten away with it on high. So then, with all of that in mind, I would love to hear what you guys think of F122. Have you tried it yet? Are you looking forward to trying VR in this game? Please make sure you do let us know down below. And of course, subscribe to the Traction channel for more racing game and F122 videos in the future. It's also worth mentioning that we do have our full F122 review already up on the channel, so please go and check that out. Thank you so much for watching, and in the meantime, keep it pinned, and have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.